Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm going to entitle this video, Don't Let Anybody Blow Smoke Up Your Ass. And the reason why I'm entitling this is this. There's some people that deliberately give you misinformation to sell you something. You know, and I really despise those kind of people because, I mean, just be honest. Everything that I sell you guys... I give you the rundown on it, the honest opinion of it. You know, I got a few guitars that when I got them off eBay, they were awful. Oh, uh, that Ibanez art, art cork jazz guitar was some piece of garbage. And some people would have just said, you know what? I'm just going to pass it on to somebody else. I'm like, no, you know, even if I reduced it tremendously, I would not feel happy or feel good about selling anybody junk. So I sent that junk back, you know, and let them deal with what they want to do with it. But I can't see myself passing on some some uh, music equipment and I'm not being honest about it. And it's a piece of garbage. I'm just trying to get rid of it because it's a piece of garbage. All the guitars that I sell, it's not because I'm trying to get rid of them because there's something wrong with them. Or I don't like them. I just get so many of them that I just can't keep them. I mean, as I'm doing this video i'm looking at all my guitars right here lined up in the wall in cases and in boxes i wish i could turn the camera around so you could see all these guitars you know so i kind of enjoy them for the moment and then i pass them on to you guys for great savings and as you guys know when i sell guitars my first criteria for a good guitar now because 20 years ago if you would ask me this question it would have been a different answer but now is i don't care what it looks like i don't care whose name on it i don't care how much it costs I don't care that it looks really good. My first my first concern is, does it feel good to play? Is the action low enough where I can play for hours and not even think about I've been playing for hours and my hands are still not hurting, you know? But 20 years ago, the first thing probably would have been or the answer to that question would have been uh, what it looks like or who made it, you know? And that's before I kind of got older and just realized that the marketing plays a big, uh, they do a good job of selling you some stuff. And they claim it to be what it is when t technically it's not, you know. So, because uh, I once had a, a guy say, you should stop playing those cheap guitars. And I was going to respond to that, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to let this idiot go through the rest of his life believing that because they charge your arm and leg for this guitar, that this guitar is better than this guitar. So, you know, have a good life, buddy. You know, but... uh. There's nothing wrong with the, the, the guitars that I play. They're not cheap. They're not garbage. They're not junk. But, you know, you got some people that have been brainwashed by the marketing to believe this nonsense. And it is nonsense. But uh, but uh, going on with the video. And the reason why I'm doing this, <coughs> excuse me, this video is, uh, I swear by Jay Terzi Guitars now. I wish I would have hooked up or found Jay Terzi Guitars 20 years ago. And I would have had not spent a long time struggling with Fender Stratocasters and they hurt my hands. But I'm I'm, I'm playing through the misery because everybody else got a Stratocaster, an American made and all this ridiculous nonsense, marketing nonsense, you know. And uh, I seen on eBay this guy was selling a classical, electric classical J Terps. I said, mm, you know, I really don't need any more guitars, but I might buy it. So it was like 90 bucks and somebody else bid it on it. I said, you know what? I'm not even going to get into bidding wars. So let that dude have it. So auction ended. The dude won. Next week, same guitar, same seller. Post the guitar again. And I said, didn't you just sell this guitar last week? He said, yeah, but nobody. The guy that bought it didn't pay for it. And haven't been able to contact him. And he's not contacting me. So he reposted it. So I said, you know what? Maybe it's just meant for me to have. You know, because again, you know, I love Jay Terzi guitars. I got electrics. I got basses. I got acoustic guitars by Jay Terzi, but I didn't have a, a classical nylon string. So I said, it would be nice to have one. So I just wanted to find out what was the story behind why is it being reposted. So once he told me, I was like, okay. So today I just decided, I said, well, you know, if nobody buys it this time, maybe I'll, I'll grab it. So I asked him, I said, and I read it verbatim. Greetings, a quick question. How was the action? I love very low. I love very low action. I am not a fan of high action guitars. His response was this: 
Nylon string classic guitars tend to have a higher action than steel strings and electric guitars. Then this is no exception. That's not true, but I'll get back I'll, I'll get back to that in a minute. If you want low action, this is not the guitar for you. There's nothing wrong with it. That's just the way they are made. This is my response. I have two classical guitars and both have very low action, my friend. I've been playing for over 30 years, so I know the statement you just made to me is just not true. Thank you for your information. I'll pass. Now, let me show you this. Like I said in the, uh, in the response to him, I got two classical guitars. This is my, and you see me play this a lot. This is my uh, Ibanez, and this action is just great. It's not like this. It's straight across. And it feels good to play and it has a beautiful tone and actually i had two of these the same model and they both felt the same way and i was quite surprised when i bought the first one i said you know man, i was expecting it to be maybe a little high it's low <clears throat> and not of course not low so so low it's buzzing <clears throat> and this one i've had for about maybe almost 10 years Cordoba and this has a beautiful tone this is my second one the first one I had had the electronics in it and I paid I think 350 and that was used so I ran across another one because I sold that one and it didn't have the electronics so I was like I don't need it. I can just mic up the, the guitar but the action on this thing is beautiful too and it's low you know that whole uh, they tend to be higher than acoustics. I would totally disagree because I got more acoustic guitars than classical. And all of my acoustic acoustic guitars, with the exception of one, and actually I won't even say that that's the exception. The action on those are a little higher than the classical. So either that guy was misinformed or he's trying to blow smoke up my ass to make a sale. You know, because I'm like, uh, I don't deal with high action strings. You know, and the fact that he told me that it was high. And uh, if I want low, this is not the guitar for me. It was an indication to say, hey, uh, this guy's on to something. He knows something. He's not just the, some guy that just decided to start playing guitar two years ago. And uh, I can tell him anything and he believed it. He knew, I knew that he was lying, you know, because that's some bullshit. Uh, you know, good guitars have pretty good action for the most part, most of them. You know, if you got a guitar that you didn't just bought and the action is so fucking high that you can stick your finger here up under the fret and it doesn't touch your strip, your fingers, it's a cheaply made guitar, you know? It's a cheaply made guitar. So I thought I would post this video because, uh, especially for you beginners, don't believe everything that people tell you because they're trying to sell you something and they tell you anything to sell you something, you know, because this is a clearly good example of that, uh, telling me something that I know ain't true, you know, uh, no, we we'll expect your classical guitar to have jacked up action. No, I don't expect my classical guitar to have jacked up action because I can't play it, you know. So I'm like, uh, and I told him, I said, thank you. You know, thank you for letting me know. I'll pass on this, you know. So I just leave it alone because I don't need any more guitars. But I thought, hey, since I ran across a classical J. Tercer with electric on it, and it even said it in the header that it's rare. And actually it is because that's actually the first time I've seen one that's electric and classical nylon strings so that's why i was interested but i was glad that he shared that information with me that he thought i didn't know or i i, or I didn't know any better that uh your old classical guitars come with jacked up action you expect that no i'm not <laughs> so i just again thought i would post this uh video for you guys because uh you know you want to buy something that you're happy with you know, and I know that doesn't always work out because, of course, I have gotten guitars. So it's like, man, you know, oh, well, I'll just keep it, you know. But for the most part, you want to be happy with your purchase and you want the people that are selling you this information or selling you the guitars to be honest with you and tell you, you know, as far as what to expect. And I guess he thought I was going to ex be expecting high action, a high action guitar common sense. You know, he told me that it was high, you know, and I was like, oh, well, thank you. You can keep that one. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching. I love this guitar. And that's why I haven't sold this guitar. It's, it's just in my closet now. And I really don't play it that much anymore, really at all, because since I got that one it's, it's, and it's a uh, plug in. But I do like the fact that uh, for most part that when I play, you know, guitars, it doesn't have amplification. I use a mic, you know. <coughs>
but I was surprised with this Ibanez because a lot of times when I'm playing acoustic guitar and I'm going through the amplification, the built-in, it's real thin, real thin. I don't like that thin sound, so I just usually mic them up. But I was surprised, pleasantly surprised that my Ibanez classical guitar, whether I plug it up or mic it up, it sounds good, period. And it feels good to play. The action on this thing, again, it's incredible. It's low. You know, it's low. It's none of that. I got to press way down. I mean, I'm hurting my fingers. And once I raise up, the strings raise back up. You know, I don't want that garbage because it's garbage. You know, till next time, take care. Thanks for watching.